Hello everyone, I'm Firefly, and this is Fallout New Vegas. We're here at the Repcon rocket test site, trying to get the ghouls out of here, and here's Chris Haversim. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. The greatest of journeys. What do you do here? I'm the flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why don't they let you work on the launch pad, Chris? If you're so ghoulish, hmm? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs. Not do them myself. Interesting. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Vault 34? Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Oh, ho! I don't think I've ever asked him that. I didn't know that, that he grew up in 34. I usually always just, like, go down and be like, Oh, what do we need for the rockets? You left your <laughs> vault because you were going bald. Bald? <laughs> you call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. <laughs> a monster! So the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken hmm. months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Well, I can get the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Later. And what's fun about this is that uh, I know where that is. So that's gonna be pretty easy peasy. Oh, I guess I'll just take those. Mm hmm. Donnie Finkton may not know much about machines, but he knows where he can get some of that fluid. We just gotta travel on yonder to the dinosaur in Novak. That's... 
Isn't it the... The rockets? Oh. Okay, well, let's go over here. I guess the easy way is to, uh... Go into the big old T-Rex there. And... The, um... Those rockets that are in the back room that I lockpicked, they, I'm pretty sure, have igniting agent in them. But I guess we could go over here and see what's over... over here. See what's up, what's going on. I'm just gonna save. I don't trust it. There we go. Oh! Igniting agent. Mr. Radical's journal. And a radiation suit? Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, that was it, just the one. Okay. Ooh, day one. Love the suit. Can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rats. I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Yeah. Day four. Suit passed first test with flying yellow colors. Overnight visit to Yucca Mountain. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down the tunnel. Rad level high, even where I was, and I didn't feel a tickle. Go, rad suit, go. Day five. Vomited all morning. Didn't splash on suit or I'd be pissed. Must be something I ate. Day nine. Exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading for Clark Field to prove suit at higher rad levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goo open and pour it all over me. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Oh yeah. I don't think that would be the smartest of ideas. Let me pour in weird goo all over you. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna put you down. Ooh, golden geckos. Look at him soar through the air! Oh, these guys are big. Oh, not Boone. So that's that. Is there anything exciting up here? I 
Yeah, there's nothing like <clears throat> crazy. Oh, it's a Brahmin. Now it's over here, I believe. Yep, here we go. <clears throat> hey. Hi there. Have you found the components we discussed? I got you your igniting fluid. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Give me any tippies. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> okay, so. I think, I'm pretty sure it's that old lady. Is there a fireplace around here? I kind of want to make some stuff. Because I got gecko meat. Ah, what the heck, I'll just sell to you. What can I do for you? Need medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. That's all you got. That's okay. Rad resist plus 40. I guess we'll get rid of the radiation suit. Well, thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get some thrusters. Oh, who's this? Oh, you're just a person. Okay. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. <laughs> Who tried to make you talk? Confound it, no mark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Why do they call you no bark? 
Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say has got bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rat scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. Oh. I know what I seen. That's a lot. What's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. <laughs> What else do you know about the deaths at the corral? I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Even more. Is there anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey. Cooked up by superstitious yokels. Seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Not the yokels. Who do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. <laughs> Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual. What with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Okay. If anyone asks, we never spoke. No, of course not. I've uh, never seen you before in my life. <laughs> Being a scientist and all, you know. Ooh, Gibson Scrapyard. Hello, Bazura. Old Lady Gibson. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Ah. Do you have any thrust control modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules. But they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. <laughs> 500 caps it is. Pleasure doing business with you. That's not bad. <clears throat> it's only 500. Are you stuck, Boone? There we go. Have you found the components we discussed? 
Joke's on you, we did. I found the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Yay! We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Well, that's awkward, isn't it, Chris? Did you hear him? My God, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. <laughs> They'd take you if they could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? They're going to re rever you as a saint, Chris. A bald saint. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. That's not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to <laughs> accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? There's a little town called Novak down the road. I reckon you can go and work on them machines. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. All right. Let's go launch those rockets, huh? Is there any... No. I thought the... The space music would start, but not yet. Poor guy, he didn't even know. You think he would have, though? Even though, like, being a ghoul, like him thinking he was a ghoul, his skin wasn't falling apart, he was just balding. I think it's upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. 
mosey on up here. Also seems to have something to do with the course plotted for the rockets, but you can't make heads or tails out of how it works. It's happening! did it! Enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. We did it. We leveled up. Grunt. I think we'll get Grunt. I mean, I don't use a lot of those, though. I do use pistols. I'm gonna go with gunslinger. Did you see that boon? Wasn't that cool? We launched some rockets. Ta 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 As I still check. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Boone. Alright, so now we can go and talk to... We can go talk to Manny. because we got rid of the ghouls for him. So he should have some info. Also, Chris is somewhere here now, so. <clears throat> is that Chris? No. Oh, there's graves here? Oh crap, I need a shovel. Oh, and I sold my shovel. But. Hmm. 
Well, that's okay. Hey. Ah, Chris! Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. Are you living with Manny? My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Uh, what, Chris didn't tell you anything? Really? They're no longer at Repcon. I knew that wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Now about the man I'm looking for. Okay, I'll tell you everything I know. Like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny? He was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Where's Boulder City? It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Alright, that's all I needed to know. Hope that helps. I owed you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see ya. I'm now idolized. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Well, that's good. I like that. I'm gonna quickly put some stuff away in my house. Oh no, I'm good with all that. Um, oh, I like that bobby pin. I don't know if I want to... Hmm, crit chance plus five. I don't want to wear the beret though, it looks dumb. There we go. I don't have anything I need to put in there. Um, anything food wise? No. We're good. Alright, we're getting out. Before we do that, though, <clears throat> we did have a little quest here. About the corrals, or the corals, I don't remember how their name goes. But they're Brahmins being killed by a chupacabra! The McBride House. Howdy. Dusty. Hey there. You're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. What do you do here in Novak, Dusty? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. Just like a good western man. I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing Just straight up you. murder. Some would say. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Huh? So long. Goodbye. The west side, huh?
Well, the west side's where Repcon is. So... Ha! Gun. The screams of Brahmin. Most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible, psychotic gibberish. It seems to express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Well, maybe. You just sleep somewhere else. You know? I did it! Find anything? I did. No one is going to attack your corral from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Well, thank you. So long. Look, what brings you here? How did no bark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. What do you think of the people who live here? Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Well, Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. On the not bright that side. There others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <clears throat> <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. On the bright side, um, Jeannie Mae's not gonna care anymore if you guys don't socialize. I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice. And you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Ooh, boom down. Nice of you to visit. No problem, Alice. Brahmin steaks. I think I'm okay. I'm not gonna steal your steaks. All right. What do I got for weight? 211. Can I sell this minigun to someone? I don't want it. I just want to sell it. Hey, you. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Oh, you have 269. Oh, you already got it back. Good for you. Nine. I'll take it. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Helios 1. Abandoned BOS bunker. Boulder City. Mojave Drive-In. There was... Wall 34 is all the way up there. Wow, okay. Hmm. 
I do want to talk to the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe we'll try going. We'll try going to the abandoned BLS bunker. I know there was a place called, like, the Hidden... Oh. That's unfortunate. Um. I know there was the Hidden Valley Bunkers. But I can't remember where those were. If they were back near, like, Powder Ganger territory, or... I just can't seem to remember. Oh, dude, we found the toxic dump site! Nice! Oh, there's a dead person over here. Oh, a legionary. Interesting. Cave fungus! <clears throat> what are you doing with cave fungus? We're on the road, so I don't think anything like uber bad's gonna happen. Oh, what's- We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. Are we getting close to Nelson? Um, I mean, that is a solution, you know, no one really lacks, no one really lacks the, the Legion, you know, they throwing people up on, uh, on crosses and whatnot. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. Yeah, you go right on ahead, you can start killing people. What is this? Hold up there. This area is locked down by the NCR military until we can dislodge some Legion snakes from Nelson. The name's Donnie Finkton. My apologies, but that name and face ain't ringing the old school bell upstairs. Afraid I can't let you through until the situation is resolved. And you may not know me, but I'm no friend of the Legion and I'll lend a hand to get rid of them. Fair enough. It's not like any of the troopers around here are jumping up to volunteer. If you had a few dozen doses of Psycho on you, maybe we could pep those weepy troopers into charging down into Nelson and taking back the camp. But since that's not likely, you could help me take out the Legion's trooper hostages. Why take out the hostages? The troopers won't go down into camp with their comrades at risk. Dirty game the Legion likes to roll out whenever they get a chance. Problem is, Ranger Milo doesn't want to play. If we take out the hostages, they've got squat for leverage. Okay, I'm in. Good. We clear out the hostages. They lose their advantage. They're down in a clearing, crucified on some telephone poles. I'll cover you from the ridge. Just make it quick. These boys should be put out of their misery, not plink to death with some old varmint rifle. And don't get any dreamy notions about playing the hero and dragging these boys out. You'll get swarmed. Now let's go. Okay. Alright, Boone. I'm to hell with mercy killing. We're getting those guys out of there. Are we, Boone? Are we getting them out of there? Back in your own backyard.
Well. Wait a second, I need a gun. Oh, oh. I don't think I'm gonna get swarmed if we murder everybody. You know, I just don't think that's what happens. Oh, that wasn't very good at all, was it? <laughs> Ooh, caravan shotgun! Ooh, sir! I'm now hated. Now that folks know you're bad, most people outright hate you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Donnie Fingdon don't don't like this. Mm -mm, no, sir. I'm just trying. I want to use. Oh, my God. <laughs> you ran right up to my gun. Vilified for your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you will become vilified. That's okay. The only time I ever go for Legion is if I'm doing like a like a bad playthrough. And I'm not really doing a bad playthrough. You know? I'm just going for the Brotherhood. I mean, they're kind of you know. There you go, Boone. Only because you're following me, Boone. This wasn't like for funsies, okay? If I gave everybody psycho, Pfft, come on now. Guys, that was easy. Me and Carmine, that's my repeater here. We'll do our best to cover you from this ridge. Good luck. Well, we did it. We secured all of them, so... What does it say? Return to Milo at the NCR checkpoint. Hey, Milo. Howdy. What's the word? Looks like I was able to get a few of the hostages out alive. I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. Guess that makes me the sap and you the hero. I'm not authorized to pay for contract work, but here's something for the effort. And I'll make sure everyone hears about what you did. 
Thanks. No problemo, sir. All right. Now that that's out of the way. I just wanted to go to the abandoned BOS bunker. If that's how you want to be, I'll just punch you. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to a place, okay? And you guys are just being... How's it feel? <laughs> Missing. <laughs> Missing throwing things. Healing powder? Oh, thank you. Oh, is it up here? I want to start the Brotherhood of Steel. At least start the quest line, you know what I mean? So I could, uh... Because I know one part, I'm pretty sure, is taking over Helios for one. I believe that's a thing. So... Oh, it's up there? What's down here? Ooh, what's this? Cloud residue. Left my heart in the Sierra Madre. Oh, okay. That's for the DLC. We're not going to do that. Um... Have we been to Sloan yet? We're gonna go to Gene skydiving, and we're gonna... Hmm. Oh, oh god. I think it's, like, around here. Yeah, so we're gonna go up this way first. Because this is the way we're not supposed to take. To get to... To New Vegas. So... And 
let me just remove it. Yeah, so we're gonna follow this road. And I think this leads somewhere. That's the correctional facility. If I'm not mistaken. Who's over here? Oh. Oh! Okay. Today's physician. Energy cells, I can sell that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Look at you guys just messing around. Yeah, that's the NCR correctional. So what's over here? Is there anything on this Brahmin? Nothing fancy. Well, there's some fancy lady snack cakes! But that's not what I'm talking about. Ugh. We're going off the beaten path here, but I want to see what's around. Because I think the Hidden Valley Bunker is where you can start... The Brotherhood? Maybe? Oh, hi, guys. You like that? Okay. That was a little explosive. Ha! Get it? Explosive. Nah, jokes. Sleep in a bed for an hour. The note reads, some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Gotta pool resources if we're gonna survive out here. Sure, you've noticed a decline in travelers. If they're getting wise, so should we. Oh, not the damaged garden gnome, guys! Jesus, there's just shit everywhere. Is it up here? Apparently this leads to a dead end. No, it does not. Ooh, what's over here? Trespassers will be shot. Well, we're gonna continue this next time to see if Donnie Finkton's gonna get shot. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm Firefly, and this is Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Good night, be safe, and cast on. Bye!